hey, I'm here at a store in Italy shopping, and uh, something caught my eye mathematically here. How they uh, tell us what floor to look for different things on. Uh, street level, when you walk in, here is called floor zero because you haven't gone up or down. That's almost better than North America where we call it floor one, right? If you go up one floor, you're at floor one. And if you go down one, one level below street level, you're at floor negative one. And if you go down another one, you're at floor negative two. Makes sense, eh? And I'm here in another place in, uh, in Europe, in the Principality of Monaco. And I wanted to show you again here, same thing as we saw at the store. Floor numbers are using negatives when they're below ground. This is street level, floor zero, because we haven't gone up or down. It's a parking garage. All these floors of parking, unbelievably there's 10 floors of parking, so it goes down to negative 10. Now I didn't have to park that far down. I parked on floor negative three, three floors down. So that's where we're going to go here. Uh, this elevator doesn't go above ground at all, so the highest button here is zero. And then all those negative buttons laid out to go all the way down. That's a pretty deep hole they must have had to build, dig to, to build this. There are floors above, but I think there's another elevator that has positive numbers to go up into the building. All right. So uh, here we are, floor negative three. I'll go see if I can find my car. And just in case you thought that I was making it up and found the only two elevators with negatives, here's another one in a hotel in Zurich, Switzerland, from five floors above the ground floor down to two levels of parking below, and that's where my car is, negative two. All right, so let's uh, draw a building here and say we have some levels that go above ground in our building, and then we also have a basement where we have some levels that go down underground just like some of the buildings that I was visiting there with the elevators and uh, then let's have a person here a little pink guy who is gonna enter the building at ground level here at that point he's on level zero because he hasn't gone up or down if he goes one floor up we're gonna call that level one because he's one floor above ground level and then if he continues on level two that is two floors up and then level three he's three floors up all right, now let's put him back down to the middle here. And now if he goes down instead, if he goes down one floor, he's at level negative one. If he goes down two floors, he's at level negative two, and so on. Down three floors, he's at level negative three. All right, in general, the idea behind numbering the floors like this is you're numbering the floor you're standing on rather than the space you're standing in. Now, a common way to represent integers is with a number line with zero right in the middle, and then the positive numbers going up or to the right. Now, positive numbers going up or to the right is because positive integers are greater than zero. Now, going in the opposite direction, we have the negative integers that are usually shown as going down or to the left on a number line. Negative integers are all less than zero. Any negative integer has a lesser value than zero. But what about zero itself? Zero itself is right in the middle. It's neither positive nor negative. It's neutral. That's why in those buildings, the main floor when you walk in is floor zero. You haven't gone up, you haven't gone down. You're right in between. Now, all of these numbers together, the positive, negative, and zero, all together, that's what you're talking about when you talk about integers. Numbers that include both directions from zero. Alright, so that's a little introduction to integers and how you can use them to represent quantities greater than zero and less than zero.